Hello, this is 3D Printed Animatronic Creature Part 22 Chest Cover Gimbal Testing with VSA. Hope y'all are doing well. We're almost at 9,000 subscribers. But, uh, been kind of working on this, different servos. Had, had a servo fail on me. I believe I told y'all that last time. I didn't have a, a mirror servo. But these are uh, mini servos here, and these are king max servos but i uh, i made this so-called scaffold with these beams and y'all see uh, later it's going to be holding the, the chest cover but this is what i've been working on and keep testing mainly the servos you know like the last test i did was with standard servos and they're just too big but they you know they have high torque really high torque but, uh, and they're somewhat like robotic servos. But as you see here, I'm just demonstrating the, the mechanism that this is what's turning the neck and the two there are the tilting servos. Now, the two servos there that are moving, those tilt servos will not be changed. Now, the rotational servo will be changed, and this whole setup will probably be changed also, but this is just a part of it because I'm trying to design this so-called chest piece, and you'll see what I've come up with, but I'll change it to, to mount it to the other servo block mount. But as you see, my clearances you know, were these are mini servos. But if I had standard servos, I wouldn't be able to have the rotation. So not only that I'm concerned about the shape of my, my chest cover, the outside is also important, but also the inside is the most critical. Because this is going to give the illusion of the neck turning, but everything that's turning the neck is below the chest. Now the center beam will probably be the standard, but connecting the servo to the so-called hub and then to the new servo block with that new servo, that will be changed and I'll be able to make this so-called so carriage is holding everything a little bit smaller. But as you see, I'm, I'm holding a light so y'all can see inside because it gets kind of dark. But uh, you see the clearances that I'm having to, to have here to make this so-called head just turn left and right. But visually when you see it as an animatronic in my designs and then also when I put it in a ZBrush to put the skin on it, I want the skin to be able to flow onto this chest but I can't bulk out the chest because it's going to bulk out the skin and it's going to just make the whole character look kind of weird. But I'm just showing you what I'm trying to achieve here and but as you see the clearances i mean it's it's working really good but it's only going to be you know the rotation is going to be less than you know 180 as far as degrees but but it's coming along and and this this chest piece here will will be changed to mount to the other servo but I did, I did a test, just testing the movement, and this is what I come up with. And this is VSA setup, and this is at the slowest speed when I'm starting. And when I edit VSA, I can edit it so I can make it run faster. And, but me just checking the clearances of mainly the, the only problem that I, I, I was having in this very beginning was the linkage was bumping that that forward edge there just a little bit especially when it turned here but but this is what i got as far as the first this is the very first test of the gimbal now on the next test with bsa i made some adjustments to the speed towards the end and I also add the blinking, but I'm blinking it with a radio. And then that way I can just have VSA run it. But it's, it's at the slow speed now, but towards the end it's going to get kind of faster. But once again, I can keep speeding it up, 
but yet if this is just a movement test I want to make sure everything's clear before I can you know crank it up but there was other things that I was wanting to do I was thinking about putting tension springs on the back of the pivot point and when I say tension springs like some strong rubber bands that would do a counter kind of kind of a counterweight that way it would appear that the that the heads floating are balanced that way it would be any kind of if there was any torque or heaviness to the servos it would relieve that that way it would be like balanced be easier for the servos to move the head but if I add tension springs to it, it will help with less wobble. You know, anything mechanical that's on a shaft and it's moving, it will generate some type of a shake. And it's just a mechanical thing that happens. But when the skin's on it, all that will be eliminated. But, and then plus you got to calculate this older servo that is turning or this so-called, uh, you know, this is a, a cheap servo that's doing the rotation and it's you know it, it it's not the top of a line later that's going to be changed out and that's what i'm waiting for but as you see here here's the design i was i mentioned earlier <clears throat> about adding a tension springs that i would have a beam here and then i would add the pivot point and these little screws that are coming out will be holding the tension spring now I could use regular springs and plus that I got to make sure that I can do adjustments to this either by adding springs or rubber bands on one side to the other because there's there's more servos on one side than the other and that would throw off the balance so I'd have to just you know dial that in adding rubber bands to one side just Basically, just trying to get the thing level and that would just relieve a lot of pressure if there's any on those servos But I got two videos that y'all have seen already, but I sped them up so y'all could kind of see the illusion and Eventually, I'm going to get VSA to run this fast, but it looks kind of like stop-motion But uh, it's pretty cool and hey, I appreciate y'all and I Thanks for all the subscribers and the kind words. And let me know what y'all think. Thanks a lot, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Later.